is today I'm making a unicorn horn for um, one of the girls, Carly. And I decided to make a triangle shape. I cut out triangle shape. And I'm using just cotton uh, muslin type stuff. And I'm just going to paint it now. So what I'm going to do is glue it. And then I'm going to do the glue it together like this. And then flip it when it dries. Flip it out. And then hopefully um, have a decent unicorn heart. <clears throat> I'm using just a cereal box as a background here and I asked her what color she wanted. She wants it to look kind of like a natural unicorn horn. So I'm going to go with uh, three colors, muted gold. This is school bus and white on it. I was going to add flowers. I might still, I don't know. And then I'm just going to make a little base to glue it together. I think I might have to put a little copper wire in it. Um, to keep it straight and yeah I think that'll be it so I'm just gonna go base a little bit more here like this just trying to make it look what I would imagine a unicorn horn looking like So I think I got it. Oh. I'm hoping it'll look <clears throat> upstairs, please. Kind of like a unicorn horn. Huh? Mm. Okay, so this is what it's looking like so far. And I decided to put a few flowers on it. Let's hope Carly enjoys that. <clears throat> I'm going to shake out purple acrylic paint that I have on the table here. And I'm going to just use this Americana acrylic, regular acrylic paint. And I'm going to do the pink. I'm just going to do like a couple drops like that. I'm going to use a round brush and I'm going to go around and do some purple petals. One, two, three, four. I don't know if I'll do four petals. I might just turn up like four petals. Yep. And I'm just going to go around doing that. That's great. And just one more. Perfect. Just going to go over with the pink. Just a little bit. And then I have a little bit of a highlight. And that's all I need. And I think I'll do a drop of yellow on it in a second after I dry it. Adding a little green. A few little t detail touches for the leaves. And if you buy a material that has flowers on it, that'd be cute too. But I'm just going to do this. And now I have a little leaves. Another thing I wanted to add to it, and I was thinking, was a little bit of gold. And I might have a little gold left in my gold stick here. It's kind of running thin, but it'll give a nice little sparkle. As you can see, I spread some green there, but that's okay. <clears throat> I'm just going to go and add that kind of to where I think the little 
curves of the unicorn horns are. You know how they have the ridges on horns. So that is that. Now I think I'm going to dry that off. I'm going to have too much on here. Let's rub it in a bit. Now I'm going to glue that up after. I think I'm done now with adding. Um, pretty much dry. I think I might just do a little detail of the <clears throat> drawing of the flower. Just like that. I think that's about it. There we go. Time to glue this baby. That mistake. Gotta do it this way and then pull it inside out. See, that was easy to fix without panicking. I'm gonna go again. I'm gonna go along this. I'm gonna go along the edge here. And that's it. It's gonna glue forward. Start with the tip, because I really just want the tip to look best as it can be. And then I'm going to kind of slide things around here. So that was just a little quick mistake fixed. And that's how easy it was to fix that. This end here is just a little bit um, longer, and I'm going to fold it over. It's barely longer. I don't need to cut off. I'm just going to fold it over. <clears throat> and that's it. I told Carly I need a few minutes by myself. Um, she wanted to come and watch me. I'm like, just give me a few minutes by myself, Grandma time. And I will make this for you. There we go. So I'm just using, you can use a credit card, whatever. I'm just using a straight edge to kind of pull the glue away from the inside of there. I'm going to dry it up. I think it should be good. And I think that's it. Now we just gotta let it set a bit and flip it the right way through. I'm not 
not sure. This one will be a little bit of a difficult part, but if we leave it dry, it should be fine. And I'm not sure how pointy it'll be, but it's just a little kind of practice thing. I'm going to try with um, a skewer. I'm not sure if it's going to be dry enough yet to pull inside out or to push inside out, but we're going to try it. It might just not be dry enough. And I don't want it to get anything stuck. Put more pressure on the side that you don't have the um, edge glued. And just slowly work it. If you're in a hurry like me to get it done. Because Carly's waiting for it. Just make sure you are careful with your edging. I'm going to slowly push from the back end. Try to push it right side up. It would help so much more if I had more patience to wait. guys know how hard these little ends can be so <clears throat> especially like if anyone's ever tried to sew Barbie clothes <laughs> so let's just be patient with this you can use tweezers to grab onto the edges as well Be careful and be patient. There we go. I think we got it. Two minutes of me grabbing me and pulling it through. But like I said, it's still, I did dry it, but. Could stay sit for a while. I could sit for a couple hours. And just fiddle with it until you're happy. I know it's not gonna not gonna have the pointiest end for this particular one anyway. I think we have it pretty much done now. There we go. I think it's pretty close to done. I don't want to over pull my end. But I think it's done now. So there is my unicorn horn. Yeah, that's really cute. And if you look inside, you'll probably see like how you glued it, and if that's there's not much, there's not more in there, and that is it. And that's how you do a gluing job here, like with the material glue, and it looks pretty good. You got the little piece. Now you just gotta make the bottom, stuff the line. So there would be more of a way to do this with a pattern. Um, I'm doing it kind of like um, 
here I have a piece of cloth left over and this is what I'm going to do with it kind of a thing. I'm not really making a pattern, just making it as a go. And a lot of times that's how it is with us because we have lots of scrap materials left over. And that's kind of where I was going with that. Anyways, I'm going to stuff this guy with my skewer. And I don't think you need a wire in it, but if you wanted to make it um, move around, you could put a wire in it. I think for safety for Carly, because she's so young, I'm going to leave the wire out. Um, for older kids, I think you can put a wire so you can move the ears or if you're making a, anything else. But I'm going to stuff it pretty hard in there, I think, so heavy, so it's not going to really... Um, it's going to stay stiff for her, not going to be a wilted antler. So I'm just going to make sure we get the end really good. So I'm just kind of pushing more in and moving it around with my dowel. I don't have any on the end yet. Now I'm getting there. And that will also help fill in your, if you have your point kind of coming undone, or um, not quite out, or push it a little bit more out. I find stiffing it in there more. I glued it so it's not going to be the perfect, but this is what, a few minutes here and a 10 minute uh, unicorn horn really, maybe 15 minutes. Didn't have to pull up the sewing machine. <laughs> which is in the garage, but there you go. It's not too bad. So, what we could do now is we can glue it down in this manner. Um, and I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to make a round piece estimating the cut on here. Where is my pencil? I got a pen. I'm going to estimate that it's about that big. I'm going to stuff this round. And so I've seen them where they sew them on the outside. I'm not sure how I want to do it yet. So I had a quick look at their horns or antlers, the horns I guess when I was there and see I could stick it on the inside kind of just glue it down and then um, um, glue another end on for it to go onto the elastic piece that goes over her head or I could try to fold these down I'm going to stick a piece of cardboard in there, guys. My decision was to stick a piece of cardboard in. Here's the elastic hairband, Dollarama. I'm going to add a little more stuffing. Guys, this is my first one, so I kind of made it up as I went with what I saw. I'm going to stick this card in there. I'm going to snip the ends just a tad. Um, all the way around so then they can glue over and um, I can stick some glue and put each end over like this so what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue this down into my horn This is kind of a wonky video, sorry guys. And I'm gonna glue that in, just like that. Gonna glue the edges down. I'm trying to do it, but the, the unicorn horn, I don't want a species in. I'm just going to go with it. And then I'm just gonna fold them in like this. Try get that. I'm gonna do that quickly. 
So this is how it's coming on. I got the ends down. I'm going to glue this down. What I want to do is I'm going to make this smaller. Add some glue to this. And, uh, yeah. Got my antler here. Horn. Horn. Put this end. I'm going to put the end of the piece that I want on my horn. Get this end down on him. It's going to look a little messy for a few minutes until I get it all squished together. So I'm just putting some pressure down the bottom. Um, and I'm going to hold that down for a bit. So I'm going to let that dry up a bit. Hold that down. Try to keep it um, together. Okay. And I'll show you. So this is it, guys. And now it's just waiting for this part to dry all the way, um, even behind the band. I added extra glue. And then I'm going to write Carly's name on there. Year from Grandma. And there we go. This is Carly's little antler. Oh, I keep saying antler. Unicorn horn. And that's how it's going to work. On her head done. And I'll show pictures of it once it's dry. Of Carly wearing it. Thanks guys. Don't forget to craft like a duck. Talk to you guys later. Bye bye.